Thank you, Mr. Shanmugam. Shri Samirul Islam. You have 10 minutes. Madam, in one sentence, this budget is anti-people, anti-poor, and anti-Bengali. This is the budget that, dis that deprived Bengal 1,71,000 crore is pending from the union government. But it did not say a single word about it. In this budget, we saw how it became a budget for Bihar and Andhra Pradesh. It is not, it is not the union budget. It was a budget to satisfy the ally constituent to and to save the government only. We don't have any problem if the union government gives something to other state, but why have they deprived Bengal? It was painful to see how this budget has ignored the underprivileged in our country, especially those in the unorganized sectors who were who neglected in this budget. This budget failed to address the needs of the unorganized sector workers who number 43.39 crore according to the economy survey 202122. Sir, 83% of India's workforce is employed in unorganized sectors. And there is where my concern lies. The government often doubts the registrations of workers on the SRM portal and a few Pradhan Mantri Jojona to deflect criticism from opposition member of this August House. However, the government is accents repeatedly demonstrate a lack of concern for unorganized sector workers just day before the budget was presented. The Supreme Court criticized the delay in verifying migrant worker registrations on the ISRAM portal for the issuance of ration cards. I would like to know when this tax would reach a substantial stage. It is disheartening that the court had to remind us about the plight of migrant workers who are a vital part of the unorganized sectors. Government's own NSO report has revealed that un unincorporated enterprises in the manufacturing sector lost some 5.4 million jobs from the middle of 2015 on 6 to 202223, and that 1.8 million establishment were lost. In contrast, West Bengal is the only state to have established a migrant worker welfare board under the leadership of our Honorable CM Mamata Banerjee, dedicated to, dedicated to the development of those who toil from one state to another. My demand is simple and clear. Why? My, de my demand is clear and simple. Why could not the union government announce a similar national migrant worker welfare board for the migrant worker in this budget. <laughs> Sir, hundreds of, hundreds of migrant workers die in workplace accidents or during their travels. Yet, this budget failed to announce a comprehensive insurance scheme to support their families. In a time when Inflation is a major issue and a constraint for the, for the survival of the poor. The government should have announced project to aid migrant workers in child education and health care. According to the census data 2011, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar have the highest number of migrant workers with a combined total of approximately 2039 million. However, the union government currently lack accurate data on the number of migrant workers. 
the University of Labor and the, the University of Labor and Employment initiated a nationwide review of migrant workers on April 4, 2021. The grim reality of migrant worker became painful, evident during the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. The finance minister proclaimed about linking the ISROM portal to other portal for workers and laborers to avail services. I wonder if the finance ministers or her colleague in the cabinet have ever spoken to our migrant worker. We are proud of this, the new building. This building may be both Sarah migrant worker. So, you can request that you migrant worker. Ke liye kuch aap log. And, and try to understand if registering on ISRAM has even given them a benefit on a single rupee so far. The finance minister announced rental housing with dormitory type accommodation for industrial workers in PPP mode with VGF report support. Yet the RIC scheme launched by the union government in the aftermath of COVID for migrant worker in cities has failed miserably and has not found any takers from the private sectors. Only lifts, service, and only eyewashing. Apart from the migrant worker, crores of people are involved in unorganized sector in agriculture and MSME industries. After the budget, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that this budget would help in prospering the MSME sectors. Unfortunately, this government did not favor those small, medium, and micro entrepreneurs. This government has systematically ruined the MSME sector during the past 10 years and Narendra Modi regime. I am proud to come from Bengal, which is the last 10 years has always been in the top 10 in MSME sectors. This government, this government imposed a burden on GST on the MSME sector and disbursement methods have been slower to discourage medium, small, and micro level investors in this budget. We did not see any announcement to promote the MSME sector. When unemployment became the prime constraint of development in PM Modi's regime, the systematic destruction of the MSME sector ensured another step to worsen the problem of unemployment. Sir, it is simple to reiterate that not only migrant worker, but this budget also failed to outline benefit for tribal people, Dolit, uh, Dolit SCs, and minority communities. Recently, a BJP MLA in Bengal, LOP, suggested abandoning the PM slogan, Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, and replacing it with Jo Hamara Saath, Ham Unka Saath. This is the real face of BJP. This is the real face of BJP. Let, let him speak, let him speak, please. Sir, it reveals that he has a right hidden agenda of the government. It aims to undermine India's public, depriving minorities, SCs, STs, Dolits, and all the undermined marginalized societies in our country. This budget did not announce, announce anything related to welfare of the minority. I ask the government to introduce a press and new scheme for minority communities. The finance minister does not utter a single word on minority welfare in her speech. Nor, nor has she announced any special measure for education, skilling, employment, or livelihood for minority communities. In fact, the budget allocation for the premetric scholarship has been reduced from 400 crores to 320 to 6 crores. One, about, the, about the last few years, the union government's only focus is to change the name of the central schemes for the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. After Prime PM Adiyadar's Gram Jojona, this time the finance ministers has announced, announced the launch of PM Janajati Unnad Gram Jojona. I want to ask this union government, what is the outcome of the previous schemes means for tribal warfare. Surely your colleagues 
in Madhya Pradesh have shown the way. Divert crores of government fund for tribal welfare to construction of cow sheds and gosalas. I am a 37 years young Indian man. Living in Bengal, I am a full hope. I am full of commitment that our great nation will keep the keep the keep the divisive, divisive destructive force out, just like what we did on June 4, 2024. Thank you.